Y'all asked for it, so we made it happen. Introducing the first neighbor clickbait patrol t-shirt with the freaking amazing quote, we're on fire from our freaking on fire burnout that we did last weekend in Houston. The shirts are available now at CletusMcFarland.com as well as we restocked the McFarland tuning and McFarland fabrications bundles. So hop on the website after this video, grab yourself some t-shirts. But for now, guys, enjoy the video. Hell yeah. Yeah, brother, you're on the Please Me Fall on YouTube channel. Is literally paying the guy to get a good car. Look at him. He just cut con. Are you kidding me, dude? What a dirtbag. We're wow. trying to go go karting and he has to bribe. There's the no freaking... excuse. There's nothing else he would be doing right dude, now. There's with really that money. no excuse. <laughs> like, look. That's a lot of money, too. <laughs> You don't pay out there, just so you guys know. You pay in here. You pay in here at the desk. This is classic Jeremy. Has yeah. to pay, get every advantage he can. He's probably, the guy's probably checking his tire pressures yeah. and everything. Dude, I what are you doing? It. Yeah, you did. Why would you I have to explain yourself? I know that that looked bad. Why would you have cash out here? Tell us. <laughs> I'm stowing it so it doesn't go all over the track. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you I kidding seen it. Me? Three, of course you, you are ridiculous. <laughs> All right, ladies and gents, welcome to the Cletus Cam. You're about to see Jeremy get slammed into the wall for bribing the guy. I'm gonna show him how it's done. Hey, you know the deal. He's driving number 20. Yeah, take him out. I still I am still used to the memo drive. Yeah. <laughs> hey, get off my cart. That's my cart. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Good one. I got him, I think. Woo! Man, what happened out there? That was a piece of junk cart. <laughs> Honest to God. You're just faster God. than mine. I have video proof on the oh, straightaways. Bull you crap. pulled me no, every time. No bullcrap. You, you pulled me on the straight. Dude, you pulled me on the straights oh, every pass. Dude, that thing's a total pile of crap. Oh, yeah. Was Jeremy claiming slow cart? Yeah, Jeremy is claiming cart. He was hardly any slower than... Yeah, hey, Coop. Second place. Oh boy. All right, so we went at 20.6. We're number eight on best of the week. Oh, Jeremy got number three. He better do it for Dale. Jeremy got number three. That's got to be the fastest start. Jeremy? Yeah, do it for Dale. Yeah. I got no power. Oh. <laughs> Oh, geez. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. The throttle was jammed. After you.
All right, so Jeremy's I, still good. lost to me. I still lost, so I'll have to, I'll have to buy, but like, you I'm have still to buy, going for yeah. yeah. But the fact that Christian, your son, won is something to say. Something in the blood there. I mean, so. how old is he? 12. 12. 12. So I'm, I'm really proud of Christian. He doesn't have a weight advantage, but that does not matter. He kicked all the adults' butts. He did. Me, so. He did beat us. <laughs> Fair and square. Oh. Got driving in his blood. So we got you on best of the week, uh, Jeremy, Stray Dog, who's Holly, Cletus, and then Christian. Mm -hmm. I'm five, Christian's number four. Damn. He's good. He the boys are going to be so good by the yeah, time man. they're freaking 15. We got the 240 and the Crown Vic out here. Looking bay. How's 240 driving on the street? Doing street car things. Yeah, she's doing good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, back to our normal routine here at the shop where we're working on something we broke. Go-karting was fun, but uh, we also have a bunch of Prime Pantry that we have to open. People keep sending us lots of snacks. We're actually gonna start donating them to the local shelter, you know, stuff that we don't eat. So we appreciate it very much. There's a lot of food here though, so we're gonna put it to good use no matter what. Well, a lot of it is going to James' dad bod, but we're working on, you know, there's a lot. As I'm snacking. Let's currently. let's open this later. Let's get the C7 in here first. Also, look at how much Mountain Dew we collected at Cletus and Cars in Houston. That's a lot of Mountain Dew. Today, what we're working on is the C7, though. If you guys remember, we got that billet intake for it forever ago. And then Adam LZ drove the C7 a while ago, and literally right when he drove it, somehow something broke. So Jeremy went out and did a log on it, and it looks like our high pressure fuel pump has given out on the C7. So. I don't know why, but you know on these LT cars, these direct injection cars, they have a cam driven high pressure fuel pump and ours has died. So we gotta pull the C7 in here. Basically what happens is when I'm under wide open throttle, the high pressure fuel pump kicks off. The low pressure still has plenty of pressure, but it's an issue. So it's actually under the intake, but we're gonna get the car in here and pull the intake off because we gotta put that one on and we'll change out the pump at the same time. So let me go grab it. God oh, dang, it is clean under here. So does that pump just literally unbolt from back there? Yeah. Is that it? You got the pretty girl out. Ooh, baby. Don't be scratching her up now. I'm gonna tape it up. Damn, Now dude. look, it's got this back here if you want to spray it. Ooh, yeah. The first panel. <laughs> yeah, she's so pretty. We're gonna hang on to the Pro Charger intake because you know there might be a C8 coming along very soon. You know, that might need to get turboed in like a day. Yeah. We might need an LT intake for it. So just, uh, you know, just gonna leave that there. Not saying anything about it for now. Put it on the shelf, because I have a feeling Farland and the Fab will be building a turbo kit for a new Corvette one day. Ooh, baby. Dude, this thing's so sick. So here is our old high pressure fuel pump. Don't know if it's bad really, but that's what the log kind of says. And there's, and here's a used one that we got from Jeremy that he has probably pulled off a customer's car when they upgraded to an LT4 pump. So we're going to make this work and hopefully it fixes our issue with fuel pressure. And then we had to get some fittings for the intake. So there's our brake booster fitting. A couple other push lock fittings to go to the map sensor and things like that. And we gotta do an oil change, a couple other things, and the C7 will be out of here. Ready for a retune from Jeremy, because there's some things he wants to try to try and squeeze out some more power. Remember guys, this is a bone stock bottom end LT1, never been touched. Just has a cam. Alrighty, well we got her bolted in. We had to do a little bit of trimming under here, but otherwise it all fits. We're about to bolt this up. Hopefully that fits okay. And it should run and drive from there. New fuel pump and See what Jeremy wants to do with it next. Alrighty, moment of truth. So we got this pipe hooked up. Our coupler's a little short. We might have to get a little bit longer of one, but it does fit and it probably will be fine forever. We haven't really cleaned everything up yet, but we're about to peel the tape off. So we had to film that. Look at all our nice AN too. Ooh, baby. Damn, dude. All right, so we got to polish up the Pro Charger now and complete the whole effect because the Pro Charger is looking a little bit dull. It's our F1A Pro Charger. See, she's got water spots and crap all over Damn. <laughs> it's not gonna sound any different, but we'll know if we have a vacuum leak or something. Oh, yeah, perfect. We don't want to call 
Nice work, James. Oh yeah, you're good. Dang. Oh, Take yeah, not bad. Not bad. Is that Frankenstein logo? Big shout out to Frankenstein Engine Dynamics. Always hooking it up in the intake department. And they did the heads on neighbor, and those are amazing. So, man, they make some beautiful products. You guys can actually use our code below and get 10% off of their intakes, their billet intakes on their website. So, whew, she is pretty. You want to go with me, Coop? Let's go see if this fuel pump thing is fixed. So, I'm not totally convinced that it was the high pressure fuel pump. All right, let's see, seven. It still takes forever to start. Hopefully Jeremy can fix that in the tune. Oh, a little warm that time. So maybe now that it's primed, the freaking pump is... Maybe it was the old high pressure pump that caused it. I need to hurt this thing's feelings in like a wagon or something. Oh. Cooper. <laughs> you don't want those problems. Dig only. Dig only? I can dig the tits off of this thing. You are on a lot better of a tire. But that don't mean anything. You got the automatic. I do, I do. Just for that, I'm gonna back into the V1. <laughs> I don't know who that's really hurting. <laughs> what a beautiful day. Yeah. Beautiful day to hit up Cracker Barrel in their C7. <laughs> We're going to Cracker Barrel. <laughs> so usually what it was doing is at about 3,000 RPM under wide open throttle, it would lose all fuel. And I can pull up my fuel pressure on the dash. That's fancy. So we got 1180 pounds right now. Jeez. <laughs> That's that high pressure, baby. That yeah. LC live. Direct injection stuff. But we'll see what it does here in a second. Come on, baby. No. Damn. It still had high fuel pressure, though. So guys, we actually think we do have low pressure fuel because we put this little fuel pressure gauge on here and uh, that's a secondary pump making plenty of pressure. And then we started on just the primary pump and it, it makes plenty of fuel pressure. Oh no, maybe under load it's just not enough. I think we need to throw it on the dyno real quick and we'll find out then. All right, so what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna do a little pull while Cooper watches the low pressure fuel uh, gauge there. And if the pressure drops, then we got a low pressure issue, but we'll see. <laughs> Sixty-five, really? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it showed sixty between fifty-five and sixty-five is, the whole time, which is enough for what that was, because that was third gear at like twenty-eight hundred RPM. That's yeah, plenty of fuel. Like pressure. it's not it. It's steady when you're doing the pull, but like before, it's like what? You can't happening? even freaking keep up with it. What is happening? We need to get tuning grandpa over here. Father the timing. Only, only father timing, aka tuning grandpa, can figure this out. Father timing. Thank goodness you're here. <laughs> well, so look at this. this is kind of funny. So I wrote this tune like nine months ago, and you have yet to flash it on. Because <laughs> Jeremy, like, he's. I mean, you tuned the car a while ago, and you did such a great job. That was like when we first met. But you've learned so much since then. Yeah, we. You've been wanting to crap. apply. Yeah, we gotta update some crap, so let's just see what we got here. I'm gonna go through everything. Maybe we can fix this thing without... Maybe it's not a mechanical issue. Maybe something changed over time. I don't know. How would that be possible? I don't know. The fuel systems on these are nuts, so if they see a high or low from a commanded um, target fuel pressure or something like that, that could be it. What's Plus that crazy. check engine light could be <clears throat> something too. So. Alright guys, so the bearded tuner is gonna make a quick pull and see for himself. I know it looks like I'm about four foot two in here, but yeah, very low seat, very very low it seat. It makes me feel. Uh, I forgot to tell you a long time ago when I was driving this thing, we were over by the college over at USF, and I was driving. There was like a car full of girls, and my son looked bigger than me in the car. <laughs> I'm like this. They're all like laughing at point. Yeah, if I get like level with the doors, 
<laughs> we can barely see your head. <laughs> Hundred and twenty horsepower. Yeah. That was not even five thousand RPM. That was not even five thousand RPM. Less than half a full, actually. Well, god dang, brother! All right, so let's pop these. fuel pressure down here or all the way up to the high pressure pump we have a yeah. brand new high pressure pump and it's the same exact problem than with the old high pressure pump. right so and let's also reiterate the fact that hey this was running good you know for like a year oh at least a year and, and a half and no no problem and then it just arose we'll get it figured out i guess what do you what should be our next step i don't know i just cross-referenced like multiple 2015s and it wasn't just a 2015 thing. I mean, it was a couple of them. I mean, very, very similar power. Uh, one that I was just looking at, like this guy's, I think he made like 800, you know, and it was a very, it actually had less stuff than what you have, so. I feel like it was gonna make such good power too. It made 630 at what, 4,900 RPM or like something? 650 pound feet of torque at 4,900. Yeah. Oh, she's gonna make so much power. Why bald eagle machine? All right guys, well we haven't gotten to see the new intake shine yet. We gotta pull this thing off the dyno and figure out what's going on with our fuel system before we do anything else. All right guys, so enough C7 action for now. We're gonna figure out what's wrong with it in an upcoming video, but we're actually at Induction Performance's new shop. Check it out. And we're about to see Cooper's 2JZ for his Supra project. So let me show you what, what we've got in here. Got the copper Supra on the showroom floor. Holly, what do you think? Lots of GTRs, Supras. Pretty much everything in this shop is a GTR and a Supra. Look at all these. Ooh. Cooper, what do you think? It looks like a bomb stock 2J to me. <laughs> Damn, it looks like it needs... This is the start of something great. It looks yeah. like it's ready for 2,000 horsepower. Not quite 2,000 <laughs> yet, but we can make it that. All right, so what's the story? This is basically a it's, imported... Yeah, this is a stock imported... JDM engine, so it's 2JZ, but it's VVTI, which is kind of cool. VVTI. Yeah, variable valve uh, timing. Yep. So intake cam has that, which gives a little bit like more low end and whatnot. Yeah. Yep. And now there's like good support for it, good cams and stuff. So we are we gonna use that on yeah. his? Oh yeah. yeah. Damn. Seems to be a spool monster. Spool monster. So we're gonna get Pretty rid of crazy. everything else, like the stock ECU and the stock intake and the stock turbos, but. Yep. Yeah, they've seen the turbo already. Where's the little turbos? Oh, the hidden back. Oh, there's one. There's two little tiny guys. Two little baby turbos. Like butt to butt. Oh, okay. What are you doing? 
Quit trying to work on cars. She's never been around this many cool cars. Sit. <laughs> Sit down. Sit. Stay. Just stay. Just hang out. <laughs> so All we're right, going to turn continue. this into that. Oh, yeah. We're going to make it look like that. Woo! All right, so that's the transmission that came on it, but we're not using that, right? No. No, so it'll be the US Supra A340E, and we'll send it to ATF and have it built. Ooh. Um, that trans will handle like 1,200 horsepower. Hell yeah. Then we'll put one of our uh, 4,000 stall converters behind it, so the Ooh. magic converter. And with that thing, like, we can make it real. It's gonna be amazing. We've cut like one, two, 60 foots with that, with no Ooh. nitrous, no nothing. So. Are you ready for that, yeah. Cooper? Yeah. <laughs> we're probably so. on like 20. <laughs> so, what's our power goal? Because we're basically we're basically gonna leave it unopened. Or are you doing rods and pistons now? We haven't decided yet. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <I don't laughs> That's what we came to That's sit down and talk about. <laughs> it's gonna be like what eight or nine hundred horsepower yeah, either be, way, but a little bit safer with the yeah, piston it'll be rod like deal. An eight nine hundred horsepower deal. Um, it'll be a lot safer if we were to build it. Just do pistons and rods. No matter what, we'll do. You know, cam springs, retainers, that yeah. kind of thing. But. The original plan was to unopen it, yes. you know, never touch it. But now we're thinking, she's over there. now we're thinking, just yeah. do the pistons and rods and be done with it. You know, new bearings. Yeah, like we send this thing over to fast forward, let them do their thing, make it either one of our stage ones or stage yeah. twos, and then we never touch it again. I say we do the pistons. And I rods. say we do the pistons <laughs> and rods too. <laughs> it sounds nice. Do you want to go home? <laughs> this well, thing uh, is gonna be so much faster than your other cars too. You're probably gonna have less money in the Supra, and it's gonna gap the V1. That's questionable. So when that day comes, right when the V1 is ready, I want to drive the Supra, and we do it when we race. Oh, okay. That's, that's all I want to have. I want right. that race. Yeah, that's fine. Are you ready to be a Supra guy? I think so. This plan looks pretty nice. <laughs> Are you ready? To oh, <laughs> Holly. <laughs> It's Supra time. All right, guys, we're heading back to the shop now. Uh, we just got some news that some engines arrived and we have a big surprise for you coming up in the next video. So that should be posted on Sunday or Monday. But for now, guys, thanks for watching. Do it for now. We'll see you later. I'm super pumped about this next video. So get ready.